What is up everybody and welcome back to the Middle Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken here today to review and talk about one of the latest 4K releases from that Columbia Classics Volume 2 box set and that is Stripes on 4K, a film directed by Ivan Reitman starring Bill Murray, John Candy, Harold Ramis, just tons of great people in this movie and I cannot wait to talk about this one with you guys but before I do that I want to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel. What are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button for more great content. I do all kinds of stuff on this channel, mostly centered around the world of physical media. I do Blu-ray 4K reviews like this. I do the Physical Media Report every single Monday where I let you know all the latest happenings in the world of physical media. I do Blu-ray Tuesday out and about videos, other out and about videos at Goodwill, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Tons of physical media content in your face every single day, and I would definitely appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to like this video, guys. Every single like will help this channel out and help this video, and I would greatly appreciate it. And also, comment down below, guys. Do you have some thoughts on this classic comedy, Stripes? Have you seen this movie before? I feel like I was the last person on the planet to watch this movie, as I do with most movies uh, that I watch here on this channel. But uh, yeah, if you got any comments on this movie, did you purchase the 4K? Have you watched it yet? What are your thoughts on it? Comment down below. I want to hear about it. So, let me get into this movie, guys, because this was a first time watch for me. I had never seen this before, and I decided, you know, I wanted to jump into my Columbia Classics Volume 2 box set. I did the unboxing yesterday on my channel, so if you didn't see that, go watch that. Go check that out if you want to see the full contents of the packaging. And I thought about jumping in with Taxi Driver. I really wanted to watch Taxi Driver in 4K, but I thought about it, and I'm like, I've seen Taxi Driver a couple times. I have never seen the movie Stripes, and I'm right in the middle of October. I'm doing a Halloween binge. I'm watching all kinds of scary movies, all kinds of horror movies, and I just wanted to laugh. I wanted to change a pace, so I wanted to watch a good comedy, and I've heard such great things about this movie, so I decided to jump in uh, with Stripes, guys, and I couldn't have been any happier with this movie, guys. I absolutely loved this film this is such a fun movie such a fun comedy uh from the early 80s 1981 this film was celebrating its 40th anniversary um this year so yeah i just i really enjoy this movie and as you can tell like throughout this review guys i'm gonna be smiling i'm gonna be gushing about this movie i love a good comedy comedy other than horror is my favorite genre it's just that they just don't make a lot of good comedies anymore i would argue that they haven't made a really, really good comedy outside of maybe two in the past like 10 years. It's like there's all kinds of movies with comedy in them. Like Marvel definitely uh, utilizes comedy to their advantage often in their films. But a pure comedy, those are, those are very hard to come by. And a lot of the reason for that is a lot of comedies today, a lot of creators today are just so afraid of offending people. Um, in their in their comedy, and it's 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 just really hard to get a good comedy um, that doesn't feel neuter. You go back and you watch a movie like Stripes, and you you just look at some of the things that they do, and some of the things that they talk about, some of the subject matter in this movie, the way that they treat certain characters, the way that the characters uh, perform, the kind of dialogue that they that they use throughout the movie, and you're just like a movie like this could have never been made today. And that's a really sad thought and thing to say, but it's absolutely true. But yeah, guys, Bill Murray is fantastic in this movie. I love Bill Murray. He's like 31 in this film. This is one of his like first comedies. I think he did Meatballs uh, before this one. Also directed by Ivan Reitman. Obviously, you had the Ghostbusters connection. Ivan Reitman directed Ghostbusters. You got Harold Ramis in this movie. So you kind of see that established chemistry between Bill Murray um, and Harold Ramis in this film. And it's just so cool to watch those two like three years before Ghostbusters would come out. It's the kind of chemistry that they developed with each other throughout this film. And then you throw John Candy in the mix, guys. And he's just one of the best, one of just one of the best people, uh, one of the best like comedic forces in the 80s. And you throw him in there with Bill Murray and Harold Ramis, and you just have comedy gold all throughout this film. I love the way that this movie uh, starts off, the way it sets up. Kind of reminded me of Big Daddy a little bit, to be honest, the way that Bill Murray's just like kind of down his luck. He's kind of a lazy schlub. He comes home, his girlfriend's fed up, she's tired of it, she leaves. Um, and then, you know, Harold Ramis, I guess, is kind of going nowhere. It starts off with a really fun scene with him. I just love the way that both of these characters are set up in the movie. You know, he's teaching the class of foreigners 
um, and they all start using profanity and it's like a super hilarious scene. And then you got Bill Murray driving the taxi with that bitch in the back that's kind of giving him shit throughout the whole time. And he's just being a sarcastic asshole. Um, just classic Bill Murray stuff. And I just, I love the way this film opens. I love the establishment of these characters. And then they decide, you know, they're out of shape. They're down on their luck. Might as well join the military, right? So they go in there, they join the military. Um, and you know, hilarity ensues throughout. I, I just love all the characters in this. You got Judge Reinhold in this movie as well. Um, you know, their love interests in the film played by PJ Souls, Linda from Halloween, which I've never seen Linda in any other movie. I don't think, uh, maybe another horror movie. Actually, I think she was in prom night with Jamie Lee Curtis now that I think of it, but I've never seen her outside of the genre and anything else. I actually thought she did a really great job in this movie as well. Um, and you got Rachel, Sean Young from Blade Runner. They're the, the both the two love interests for Hale Ramis and Bill Murray in this movie. I thought they played like really fun, really cool uh, characters in this film. Kind of not, not like your traditional love interest because they were in the military. They were kind of like an authority figure for Murray and Ramis. So it was an interesting dynamic between the two of them. I love the scene with them in the house. It kind of just giving you those like old like teenage feels like alone in the house, your parents are out of town kind of thing, which they even mentioned in the movie. Uh, I love the scene with Bill Murray and her on the kitchen counter, the spatula thing, which uh, they talk about a little bit in the special features, Bill Murray and Ivan Reitman, just how iconic of a scene that was for a lot of people, I think. Um, just some really, really great stuff in this movie. You know, I just think it's a really good story, but just like two down on their luck schlubs trying to find their sense of purpose in this world. And yeah, it takes a very traditional approach to it. And it does feel really familiar, just the directions that the story goes in. But in the hands of Murray, in the hands of Ramus, in the hands of Candy, it just becomes classic. It becomes classic. It feels classic. It just feels like one of those movies um, that it's just, it, it goes beyond the subject matter. Like it's more than the story itself. It's the performances in this movie, uh, that really drives it to that legendary status and why it's held up for so many people, uh, to this day. So I'm just, I, I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of mad at myself that I've never seen this movie before. You would have think that as a kid, maybe I would have saw it somewhere, but I just, I never really grew up with this movie um, around. So I just, uh, you know, I always grew up with Ghostbusters, but nobody in my family or anybody I felt ever played Stripes or I just don't remember watching it on TV, but I am so glad that I got to see it now. And just going into some standout scenes for this movie, like I said, the opening, I love the opening with the taxi driver scene and the, the Ramus in the classroom, but I also just love the, uh, the mud wrestling match with, uh, with John Candy, like right in the middle of the movie in like the strip club place. I think that that's a really great scene. I love the scene with Murray and the General Hulk, just all of their interactions. I really love the chemistry um, and the relationship between those two in this movie, just kind of like the um, the sarcastic punk kid and the seasoned general officer, just kind of at odd. I love the scene between the two of them um, in, that, in that bathroom and just kind of how he, he asked Murray to kind of hit him in the face. It's kind of played pretty serious in that moment too. There's not a lot of comedy in that moment. Um, but I think it works really well, just kind of like progressing Murray's character. I loved a lot about this movie. I love the directions that it goes in. I love that it's like a full on like war movie, like the past 20 minutes. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Full Metal Jacket, how there's kind of like the military school and the training and then they go into actual war. But the war is played kind of comedically throughout, but there's also some seriousness to it as well. Some really dramatic moments in it as well. Um, so yeah, I just, I really loved everything about this movie. This movie is a massive success as well. 85 million, um, at the box office on a 10 million budget. And you think about that in the eighties, there's movies that struggle to get to 85 million now. So this had to be considered just a massive success. Yeah, definitely a huge notch on the belt of Ivan Reitman. And then he would go on to direct Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters too. I mean, God, that guy has such an incredible, um, filmography. And another thing I thought was interesting is uh, they mentioned it in the special features, but a lot of this movie um, at the military base was filmed at Fort Knox in Kentucky, which is actually my home state. So that was a cool little um, tidbit of information I think that they go into in the special features. So let's go ahead and get into the actual visuals. So I actually didn't get to check out the Blu-ray in this. I only watched um, the 4k, but to me, like the picture quality is very clean and crisp. Like I think Sony did a really incredible job, 
um, on the remastering of this 4K disc. I think the black levels are very strong and consistent throughout. I think there's nice facial detail. This isn't exactly the most colorful film. There are some things that kind of do stand out with that HDR. And I would say the insignias and the pens and then the just the uniforms themselves, like the greens, I think look a lot stronger, more um, defined in the HDR than they would on the Blu-ray. I actually think there's some more scenes at the end with some explosions that really looked great with those more vibrant colors. So overall, guys, I think this is a really strong um, 4K transfer. Is it the best I've ever seen? No, it's not, but I think it's a very strong 4K transfer. I think it's a very nice uh, 4K transfer, and I think that Sony did an absolute incredible job with this one. So as for the sound, guys, you do get Dolby Atmos in this on the 4K disc. You also get 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio, and you get that on both versions, the extended and theatrical cut versions, which you do get both on the 4K and on the um, Blu-ray disc as well. You also get the mono DTS HD Master on the theatrical version um, as well on the 4K and on the Blu-ray disc, but just the theatrical version for that one, not the extended version. So as for the packaging, guys, right here, some really nice packaging. I love the image that they use of Bill Murray with another classic scene from the movie where he's doing that drill presentation at the end, which is a great scene as well. So I love that they use that for the cover right there. Um, on the back, you got that quote from, I think, uh, yeah, Roger Ebert right there. And then you get the actual like packaging itself. This isn't like the best, I don't think, um, that they could have used for this cover. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit, it is, um, you know, it, it's kind of classic, I guess, but I just don't think it, I think that the colors on this kind of look a little dulled down and almost like it, like an old uh, VHS or, or DVD case that's been kind of sunbathed a little bit. So I think that they could have used some brighter colors on this cover. I would just like to have seen something a little bit different. The back of it actually looks pretty great though. With this one right here, because it is the 40th anniversary, you do have two really great new special features that are on the 4K disc themselves. It is an interview, like a Zoom call between Ivan Reitman and Bill Murray, and they talk for like 45 minutes. It's actually split into two parts, but they're talking about the making of the movie and the experience of the movie. But to get those two in a 45 minute long interview, talking about Stripes was actually really cool. And they talked about some really great stuff as well. Of course, we would have loved to have Harold Ramis there, John Candy as well, talking about the movie, but they're no longer with us, so that's not possible. And it's actually a really sad scene. Um, not a scene, but just a moment in the interview where Bill Murray is kind of talking about all the people that they lost. They're kind of talking about it together. Most of the people that they worked with on this movie are now gone. And they talk about John Candy being gone. And then they get to Harold Ramis and Bill Murray. It's almost like he forgot that Harold Ramis had died. He's like, I just don't think about Harold Ramis as not being with us anymore. And then you could tell like in that moment, it kind of hit him and he kind of got a little upset about it. And it was a really sad kind of moment in that interview. But otherwise, great interview between those two great addition to this set again about 45 minutes you also get some new deleted scenes on the blu-ray disc as well so uh, like I said, just tons of really great special features, new special features in this. And I haven't gotten far enough into the other ones, like researching the other discs to know if they're going to have new special features or if it's just with this one. Because it's the 40th anniversary, I'll have to do a little bit more digging into those and I'll get to that when I do standalone reviews of those because I do want to do at least a couple more of these within the next couple of weeks. I don't know if I'll get to them all this month, but um, I was happy to start with Stripes though, guys. I really love this movie. It put me in a great mood. I think this is a great comedy from the 80s. I think that this is a great transfer and a great start for me diving into my Columbia Classics Collection Volume 2. So with that, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Please like this video. Comment down below your thoughts on Stripes. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on all those bell notifications for future videos, and we'll see you next time.